Um, so hello everyone, my name is Madhu. I am a student ambassador as well as a fourth year undergraduate student in the Biological Sciences Program at the University of Windsor. Um, and before I start the tour, I'm just gonna start off with a land acknowledgement. Um, so as we get started, our campus sits on the traditional territory of the Three Fires Confederacy of the First Nations comprised of the Ojibwe, the Odawa, and the Potawatomi. We acknowledge that there are few places on earth that someone before us has not called home. And with that, I welcome you to the University of Windsor. Um, just wanted to mention that at the end of the tour, the breakout rooms will be opening. Um, and if you have any faculty specific questions, our student ambassadors will be there um, to clarify any questions you may have. Um, additionally, if any questions are not answered during this tour or during, uh, you know, those breakout rooms, feel free to visit the booths that are, um, you know, open through the exhibit hall. Um, also joined with me today is a another ambassador. Um, so Mel, if you want to introduce yourself. Uh, hi, my name is Mel and I'm a second year in mathematics and statistics. All right, so Mel will be um, here in the chat. Um, so if you have any questions along the way, feel free to uh, maybe just message on the chat with our tour. I'm going to be going over to the St. Dennis Center. Um, so this is our alumni field, um, as well as the Forge uh, Fitness Center and the St. Dennis Center. So inside, uh, we have our field house. Um, this is where all of our sporting events takes place. Um, again, as you can see, a very advanced and really big facility. Um, it's actually under construction right now um, under a huge project, and they're actually renovating the whole space even bigger um, and better for our students. So in addition to your student tuition, you also get access to the Forge Fitness Center, um, which, um, like I mentioned, is being upgraded. Um, but it's basically a gym membership, and we also have fitness studios. Um, that have different hours of like a spin class and stuff like that, which you can um, make use of through your student um, student card. Um, going to our next building is right next to the St. Dennis Center, we have the HK building. Um, here, as the name implies, this is home to our human kinetics um, students. So um, all of their classes, so since this building is a little bit of a distance away from the university, I would say around like a five to seven minute walk, um, all of the uh, human kinetics classes, uh, labs, um, all of those interactions are actually within this building. Um, and inside we have various facilities for our HK students. Um, so like lounge spaces, um, you know, open uh, like areas for, you know, to study, ping pong tables, microwaves, all that stuff. Um, next, we will be going uh, We'll be visiting Alumni Hall. So this is our residence on campus. Um, so this is this building as you enter. So that's our main entrance. On the right side is the brew, which is a convenience store as well as a cafe um, for our resident students. Um, so again, you can you know purchase anything that you'd like uh, in this uh, convenience store. You can actually pull up a picture. Um, so yeah, this is a little 360 view of the brew cafe. Um, you know, and you can purchase anything you'd like um, just using your student meal plan card. Um, additionally, going upstairs, this is what a um, example room would kind of look like. So these are suite style um, where students would have, you know, their own room. Um, and the rooms do include basic furniture. So for example, what you see in these images. And then over here, there'd be a shared bathroom with your roommate. Um, and you have a little bit of a space over here, uh, you know, like a small kitchenette. So Students are encouraged, um, they're able to bring in their own appliances as long as there's no open flame. Um, and then actually outside of these doors, there is a common lounge area um, for resident students on each floor. Um, again, like this includes like a stove, um, a TV, a little common area that you can bond and kind of get to know more about, um, you know, the people who are living around you. Um, in addition, we also have various um, other style uh, residence rooms. Uh, so for example, in um, McDonald's, this is one of our, um, you know, the one of the layouts that we have available. Um, this is an example of those, um, the common space areas I was kind of bringing up. So, you know, that TV, the common space, and actually our RAs, so the residence assistants, um, they actually hold um, different types of events in these areas for you to kind of, 
you know, build that sense of community and get to know more, um, you know, right from residence itself before you even set foot into a classroom. So um, that kind of summarizes everything in Alumni Hall. Um, next, we have the uh, Engineering Center. So this is the CEI. Um, so again, most of the engineering students will have all of their classes here. Um, and then something really cool about this building is that we have a green roof on top um, where students who, you know, um, you know, who want to eat lunch outside or, you know, just spend time outside. Um, there's a really cool recreational space right on the roof of this building. Um, additionally, inside the building, each of the staircases and the bridges and kind of the structures are all built different from each other. Um, so it's basically built in a way so that engineering students can uh, you know, learn from their uh, surroundings and kind of take inspiration from it. So it's a really cool building. Um, and it's not only for engineering students. So it is very common for um, students and other faculties and other programs to have classes in here as well. Um, so as a biological science student, I've actually had a couple of classes in here as well. Um, so here's a little like 360 of uh, the CEI. As you enter through those doors, over here we have a grab-and-go type of Tim Hortons. Um, and there's a lot of open space and a lot of study areas that students can kind of make use of. Um, and then this is an example of one of the uh, engineering classrooms that we have inside the CEI. So this is the instructional space at the front. Um, and then we have a lot of collaboration, collaborative areas here um, so that, you know, like based on the class that you're in, those types of activities are, you know, able to happen. Um, additionally, we have the Odette School of Business. So again, as the name implies, home to our business students on campus. Um, inside, this is an example of one of the classrooms that we have. Um, and, you know, I had a couple of classes in here as well. So um, even though it is home to business, like again, because of the size of this classroom, um, it allows for, you know, other faculties to use it as well. And actually right outside these doors um, to your left, uh, we also have a Tim Hortons. Um, and it's super convenient having something located already inside of a building. So, um, you know, if you have class here, just leave your stuff, go grab something to eat. And, you know, you have that chance to grab lunch or breakfast or whatever it may be. Um, additionally, you know, we have various different types of uh, services available for our business students, you know, through the third to fifth floor. So these can be professor offices, um, you know, the counselors that we have, um, or even academic advisors within the business department um, who can help our business students select those different streams that um, they might be interested in. Uh, next, we'll be going over to Erie Hall. Um, so over here. Okay, so Erie Hall, this is one of, um, this is where one of our largest uh, classrooms on campus are located. Um, and again, you know, in our first years, our class sizes are a little bit on the bigger side. So they will most likely be taking place within Erie Hall. Upstairs, we have the uh, computer science and Java lounge. Um, so this is where if you have any questions um, and you're in computer science, um, this is a space where you can kind of consult with upper year students and um, ask any questions and stuff like that. Um, over here, attached to Erie Hall, we have Lambton Tower. So this is the office spaces for the math and stats professors, as well as computer science professors. Um, I'm really bringing up these professors' office spaces because, uh, you know, something really unique to the University of Windsor is that every single professor actually sets aside um, office hours throughout the week. Um, where students can kind of just drop in, ask any questions they may have. Um, it's super informal and you kind of get to really get up, get that one-on-one -on -one ex experience to get more out of your classes. Um, so I definitely recommend incoming students to make use of these uh, office hours to um, literally get more out of your classes. Um, so over here, you know, kind of uh, separating the two buildings, the so Oda and Erie, and then leading to various other buildings on campus is the Turtle Island Walk. Um, and, you know, there's a lot of outdoor spaces that students can use um, to do work outside. And essentially, you know, because we are in Windsor, we don't really have, um, you know, super cold times or super hot. So our moderate temperatures for us to kind of appreciate that in these outdoor spaces, there are also um, black pillars that you see that emit Wi-Fi so that you're connected and you can make use of that, you know, great weather outside. 
Um, in the back here, we have some basketball courts, some around the corners, some ping pong tables. And uh, most of our outdoor celebrations do take place like out on this uh, outdoor theater here. Um, and yeah, it's a really great space to be in. Um, next, we have our Toldo Health Education Center. So here, um, this is the, uh, so on the left side, this is where the nursing, um, you know, labs are taking place. Most of the classes will be here. Um, on the main floor, these are medium-sized classrooms. Uh, Toldo also houses um, the Starbucks on campus. Right now, this is the only one, but we have a new one coming in uh, in the CAW. On the right side, this is the satellite campus for um, Schulich School of Medicine from Western. Um, and all of the medical students um, will have their classes in here. Um, between these two buildings, there are various study spaces that students can use. And inside Toldo, we actually have a green wall um, you know, with pure air that is, um, you know, comes in through that green wall and then rainwater kind of sustains it. Um, going next, we have Chrysler Hall um, here uh, on the left. These are the office spaces for like, like the ologies, so psychology, anthropology, things like that. In the middle, we have Chrysler Hall Towers. So this is home to the administrative staff of campus. Um, HR office is also located here. So Something really cool is that um, at U Windsor, we have the Ignite Work Study Program. Um, and basically through this, you get to hold various positions on campus that can relate to your um, degree. Um, so, you know, through the HR office, you can kind of secure those positions on campus. Um, over here, we have the Registrar's Office. So if you have any concerns about your timetable, your midterm schedule, your final schedule, um, this is where you can go for that. Um, and then, Across from here, we have the Neal Education Building. Um, so this is home to our students within the Faculty of Education. So, um, you know, our future teachers. Um, and inside, we actually have, uh, you know, example classrooms that replicate, um, that kind of represent, like, you know, the different types of classrooms our students um, will be uh, working in. So, for example, this is one of the elementary classrooms that um, students can kind of have experience in teaching with. Um, next, we'll be going over to Letty Library. Um, so this is our library on campus. Inside, uh, we have a 360 view of campus uh, of Letty Library. So these are the doors you kind of enter through. On the left side, you have the information desk. Um, this is where um, you can either like, you know, check out any books or even, um, you know, borrow a laptop or iPhone charger. So let's say you're studying on campus and you don't have your chargers, you can actually rent that out as well with your student card. Um, and then these signs up here kind of explain the atmosphere of each of these uh, floors. So we have quiet study floors. So as the name indicates, you know, quiet environment. And then on the uh, other floors, we have like a group study floor. So, you know, a um, like a there is some conversation that is allowed. Um, additionally, over here, we have various resources for students to use, so computers, printers, all that stuff. Um, again, you use your uh, student card to use these services. Um, and then over here in the back, we have the writing support desk, um, who are actually functioning online now. Um, and you can get support in you know, creating um, essays um, from the brainstorming stuff all the way until formatting your references. So great resource to definitely make use of. Um, and then, you know, right outside Letty, um, we have this emergency pole, and these are actually located all around campus. Um, and essentially, um, if you were in a situation where you felt unsafe, you can activate these emergency poles, and a first responder will be there within 60 seconds. Um, it's to ensure that our students are safe. And in addition to this, we also have our Walk Safe program. So through our Walk Safe program, um, we have uh, through the app where um, let's say you need to walk um, from campus to your car or on campus or off campus housing, you can actually, uh, you know, sign up for one of the volunteers to come to your location on campus um, and kind of walk you to your destination. Um, there's also a remote tracking option available as well where campus police will track your location until you reach your destination and then you can kind of hit end and um, they'll stop tracking you. So again, to make sure that our students are safe. And if, for example, you were to experience any difficulty reaching your destination, um, they will actually, you know, reach out to you and they can, um, 
you know, come and see if everything's okay. Um, next, we have Dillon Hall. So this is one of the oldest buildings on campus and also the coolest looking, in my opinion. Um, and I think it's really cool just because outside the architecture is kind of preserved from when the building was constructed, but inside it's really cool to see the contrast because it's completely renovated. Um, and these are actually like medium to small size classrooms. So this is where labs will take place or tutorials. Um, and you kind of like build upon um, the stuff that you learn in class. Additionally, in the lower floors, we have our student success and leadership center. So this is the offices of LEAD, for example, um, and this is an organization of student-led um, events that happen on campus like Head Start and Welcome Week, um, where we basically provide transition programs for students coming in from high school into university. Um, additionally, we have uh, Ethics Hall, which is over here on the left, and it's connected to our new Ethics Center of Research, also known as CORE. Um, it's a brand new research facility dedicated to innovation, collaboration, and research. Um, and basically, at the University of Windsor, you have various different opportunities to kind of get involved in research and, um, you know, get that hands-on experience right from your undergraduate degree. Um, additionally, we have the CAW. So this is our student center, home to all of the student services on campus. Um, upstairs, we have, you know, study spaces, auditoriums. Um, various office spaces, and then we also have um, the clinic upstairs. Um, and then on the main floor, we have our food court, so uh, you can use your student card to purchase anything here. Um, and then this is where the second Starbucks is actually going to be introduced. Um, we have a huge auditorium, which is kind of a little bit over to the right, and that's where all of our events happen, like Club Fest, Winter Fest, all that stuff. Um, and on the lower floor, this is where we have our campus bookstore, um, you know, the pharmacy, the chiropractor, all those things like that, as well as the Hum Cafe. Um, and finally, I'm just going to end our tour off. So we are running a little bit off of schedule just because of the technical difficulties in the beginning. Um, but this kind of symbolizes our proximity to Detroit. Um, and basically, like, you know, within with your student card, you also have a student bus pass that you can use. Um, and, you know, you just scan that to get on these uh, tunnel buses that can shuttle you across to the, uh, to the Detroit, to Detroit. Um, and you can visit for any like shopping or recreational purposes and make it back to Windsor within the same day. So gives you the opportunity of experiencing, you know, two different types of cities, two different countries, all within the same day. And um, yeah, so just ending the tour off here. So um, I think just following this, our breakout rooms will be opening. Um, so, you know, if you have faculty specific questions, feel free um, to ask those there. Um, and I will be remaining here um, to answer any other questions you may have. Awesome. Thanks a lot, Madhu. I actually, oops, sorry, I had to catch you before you stop sharing your screen because we do have actually a request um, to see residents. Um, and if we can show each of the residents, um, if possible, I think yeah. that the, our residence campus partner is showing alumni hall, um, but there has been some requests to see the other buildings. Um, so yeah, if you wouldn't mind going through that, um, and just a quick sure. note, as you said, the faculty specific breakout rooms are open. Um, feel free to join those or stay in the main session and Mandy will gladly answer your questions. Yeah, so yeah, so I'm just sharing my screen um, again. I was just kind of racing through to finish everything in time. But yeah, I can definitely show each of our buildings. Um, so this is inside McPherson. Um, each of the uh, buildings actually have like auditoriums, I guess, um, in each floor. So in McPherson, we have this. And this is where, um, you know, some of our events happen. Uh, a lot of training sessions happen. So if you're like part of volunteer clubs and there's some training required, they actually take place in you know, halls like this. Um, so then this is the North Lounge in Alumni, just kind of going through our photo gallery. So um, I actually can't see the chat, um, but if there are any questions, maybe unmute your mic or Ashley, if you can just let me know, um, I can, you know, answer those as well. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this is our South Lounge within Alumni Hall. Um, we also have a nursing skills lab. So for our nursing students to practice their skills, um, so this was McDonald's, which I did bring up um, in our tour. 
Um, so this is that like collaborative space that I mentioned before. Um, yeah, a little bit more of that area. So you can kind of, um, you know, have an opportunity to study with friends, things like that. Um, let's see. Oh, in McDonald, we also, so I bring up this. So um, in alumni as well, I've heard is um, for resident students, you can actually connect um, to the laundry services from your phone. Um, it kind of gives you a little update of each of um, the laundry machines of um, how long they're going to be on for. So let's say you're on the top floor. If you go all the way to the bottom and there's no laundry machines available, um, you can actually check out that um, that app to see when they're available. So I thought that was really cool when I found out. Um, so this is one of those uh, like kitchen areas that I was describing before. This is the one in McDonald's. Um, there's a theater space as well. Um, usually like our RAs will hold, um, you know, different days of, for example, like having a movie night. Um, so you can build that sense of community with the people you are living with. Um, yeah, so here's some more pictures of McDonald Hall. Um, a little bit more of the space, uh, like the rooms. Um, Let's see what else we have. Um, yeah, so I think this is this is all the pictures we have um, of all of the uh, residents. But um, I think even in our view book, we have a layout of all the different types of um, like resident rooms that you can um, basically choose between. So. Um, I recommend checking that out as well to find out more about the floor plans if that's what you're interested in. Um, yeah, Madhu, sorry, I'm just going to interrupt. I'm, I'm going to find that because the resident services website actually does do the floor plan as you explained. So I'm just going to find the link and I'll pop it into the chat. Okay, perfect. Yeah. Of Cartier. Uh, sorry. Is there a visual tour for Cartier? Um, I don't think I have that right now, um, but actually when you're looking for the uh, floor pans, if you can um, maybe find some images of Cartier Hall, um, we can share that in the chat as well. Yeah. I'm going through this again to see maybe if I skip some, but. I do, there is, so for each residence, there is a description of what's the amenities within residence. There's a floor plan and there's also a photo gallery that will break down your bedroom, bathroom study room kitchen etc etc so that is the link i'm going to put cartier um, into the chat um and then i'm also going to put the general link for all of them in case there are others interested in that um and if you would like any more details i see quite a few resident questions within the chat just a reminder that resident services uh, is in the exhibit hall and they will be more than happy to answer any of your resident specific questions So I just see a question about a visual tour for industrial engineering department. Um, so we don't have a like specific space that we can kind of show you for industrial engineering, but we do have the engineering building. Um, so again, you know, like starting off in your first year, you will have um, kind of like the broad, uh, like general basic core courses, which will branch off into, for example, industrial engineering. So. Um, I can bring up the visuals of the engineering building again, um, if that's what you're interested in kind of seeing. Okay, so let me. So yeah, this is our 360 view of the engineering building. Um, you know, there's like different spaces here inside of this is actually one of our classrooms. Um, and yeah, let me just come back to the chat. Oh. Okay, so I see um, our residents separated by gender or is it mixed? Um, so again, this is actually open to preference. Um, you'll have an option of um, I guess choosing if you want like a co-ed floor um, and stuff like that. So I think more information will be available within those links that Ashley just shared in the chat. 
um, to kind of explain that. So if you want, you know, if you want it to be separated by gender, there are options like that as well, um, as well as the mixed options. Um, what building would the arts programs take place in? Um, sorry, does anyone else have their mic on? I just, I'm not on the main one, so I can't tell. That was me. I'm sorry, Madhu. Okay. You got to it. You're much quicker than I. I was just going to um, talk about that art program um, and maybe see if you could highlight the Soka building, which is yeah, our for sure. huge downtown campus and beautiful. So let me just pull up um, our building of Soka. All right, so this is our um, this is our downtown campus, um, and basically it's a brand new facility. Um, so right now, this is the 360 view of the film studio, um, as well as the sculpture lab right here. So as you can see, you know, completely renovated. Actually, it's a brand new building. Um, and there are a couple of other pictures I can pull up as well. Um, but yeah, like if you're interested in, for example, like the VAID program, stuff like that. Um, your classes will be taking place like within this building um, and there are some opportunities to kind of partner with uh, Detroit Mercy as well um, and I know of some students who participated within that um, and kind of worked between the two uh, universities as well so um, you know there's a lot of there's a lot of space for collaboration um, especially within like the arts program as well um, yeah so right now these are the visuals I have of the building Awesome. Thanks, Madhu.